little schizo rant that I've been thinking about recently. So Dead by Daylight has quite a few perks, quite a few different types of perks, and one of the reoccurring themes of like aura reading perks are perks that allow you to see someone's aura when you hook a survivor, right? Uh, they're killer perks that allow you to do that. And so the first one of these that was made belongs to, you know, Bubba the Cannibal. He came out a long time ago and it's barbecue and chili. And everyone knows barbecue and chili. It's a very iconic perk, you could say. Uh, and it reveals the auras of all survivors when you hook someone, right? So the main problem with barbecue and chili is, you know, it's tied to a resource. You can only hook survivors 12 times. Now, it's not as big of a deal because, you know, hooking means you're winning. So if you're using up that resource, you know, I mean, you can only use barbecue and chili 12 times, but that's all you really need to use it for anyways, because you're hooking people. But still, that makes it very limited, and then it has this little added effect where you can't see survivors who are close to the hook when you when it like activates, right? So like if they're within 40 meters of the hook, which is a really big distance, like 40 meters in the game is actually massive. Like even 16 meters is pretty big. Like that's the area that uh, what's it called? Uh, the perk. What's it called? I don't know. Uh, the perk that allows you to see uh, the killer nearby hook. It, does it begin with a T? I can't, I don't know why I can't think of this now. Jesus Christ. Okay, anyways, whatever. Um, so, like, for reference, like, wiretap. Oh, wiretap is 14 meters, but it's a pretty big range still. But, like, 40 meters is huge. That's almost one-fourth of every map in the game. Like, it's a huge area you won't be able to see people in for. And it only reveals survivors for five seconds. So without, like, Lethal Pursuer and Barbecue, to chili to, like, barbecue and Chili together, it's you're, you're basically going to get very little value. It'll just show you where you need to go next. But within 40 meters, you know, it's useless. Uh, and that means that you could basically, if everyone's within 40 meters, if you're on a map like, uh, like the game, like, you know, uh, Gideon Meat Plant, and you use barbecue and chili, you're probably not going to see anyone, like, most of the time, unless they're somehow on the other corner of the map, like, if you get lucky. But, yeah, it's just not great. And at its lowest version, 60 meters, is, you, I, I don't think you're ever really going to, like, it's, it's not a bad perk, for sure. But that's not what this video is about. It's not about barbecue and chili being a bad perk. What this video is about is the other perks that work very similarly to barbecue and chili. So you see the next one we have is a more recent one, Alien Instinct, that came out with the Xenomorph. And this perk allows you to see the furthest injured survivor when you hook someone. And it also does it for five seconds, like barbecue and chili. So it only allows you to see one person but the one person that is injured. So one huge problem with this already, if no one's injured, you get no value for a perk that you used, like that you hooked someone with. I, I think that's very rarely going to be the case where, you know, no one's injured when you hook someone unless you're just doing awful and they keep resetting every time that you try to get it down. But it also applies the oblivious status effect for 20 seconds, which isn't bad, but it's not good either because considering... You see the survivor who's injured, you have 20 seconds to get to them, that only really gives you a chance to get to them, and then the Oblivious won't really help much outside of that. But if you're lucky, you know, Oblivious, it, basically Oblivious makes you undetectable, but specifically for that survivor. I don't think it hides your red stain, it just hides your terror radius. So it's not, a, it's not a really bad status effect, but this perk still, like compared to barbecue and chili, like they're both so bad, like in comparison, to the third perk I want to talk about, which is Friends Till the End. And Friends Till the End does basically the same thing as both of them, It expo but you don't have to worry about a survivor being injured because it'll always reveal the obsession, and it reveals them for 10 seconds. That's twice as much as Barbecue and Chili and as Alien Instinct, and they're exposed, which is a really big status effect. So. Why even bother bringing, like, Alien Instinct or Barbecue and Chili if you could just get Friends to the End, which is, like, the best of these three perks, and it's you just basically always get to see where one person is when you get a hook, and then it's it's almost a guaranteed down with, if they're, like, close enough. It, and then not to mention you bring, like, Lethal Pursuer, and you just have a huge amount of time that you can see them for. Like, it's just... I don't understand why 
friends till the end is 10 seconds while the other two are only five and both of the like barbecue and chili limits the distance by 40 meters so if they're within 40 meters you can't see them like but it's only five seconds so everyone outside of 40 meters there's no way you're gonna get to them but you'll definitely get to someone within like 12 or 13 seconds if you have friends till the end and lethal pursuer it's it's insane this perk is so much better than both of them combined so like i think that either friends till the end should be nerfed which honestly i don't really like the prospect of nerfing perks i mean friends till the end is a really good perk and killers don't have a lot of bank on right now with recent nerfs to them there's been quite a few nerfs to different killers and quite a few nerfs to like gen kicking and you know all the regression perks and all that so i don't think friends till the end should necessarily be nerfed especially since it's good for m1 killers because of the exposed status effect it's a it's a good fallback perk if you're playing a character who doesn't who like a, who basically isn't a chase killer right it's it's good for that so i think instead barbecue and chili and alien instinct should be buffed i think barbecue and chili honestly doesn't need the the distance thing at all like i don't know I, like within 40 like 40 meters is a massive nerf to it you should just be able to see all of them for five seconds and that's it like honestly i think it's a very simple buff but it's just it's it just makes it on par at least with friends Alien because you get to see everyone even though it's for half of the time but then after you get a hug, so you'll know how to like get to like the closest person or to get to someone who's near a gen or something, you know. But then that makes it good on all maps instead of just being super bad for small maps like uh, like the 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 Death Slingers map, whatever that one was called, Dead Dog Saloon, and like uh, you know, well also Midwitch probably, and uh, the game like. Th like three really small maps that basically i could just see this like you're just screwed if you bring this perk to them so it should basically be no no restrictions just reveal everyone when you get a hook for five seconds right that's good with alien instinct though i don't know what you could do this perk maybe make it so it's like six seconds or like maybe even eight seconds and then the status effect should probably be longer like 30 or 40 uh yeah probably like like it should probably be like instead of 16, 18, 20, it should be like 26, 28, and then 30. Because like 30 seconds of Oblivious is, is pretty strong. It's half a minute. That gives you more than enough time to get to them and still get value out of having it when you're close to them. It almost guarantees that that injured person, you can get them pretty easily. In the state it is now though, it's pretty much, it's just not great. Like it does everything to be good for you, but like in only a really niche situation where everyone is really close to the hook and one person is injured, well, you really get that much value out of it. But it, you wouldn't even get value from the Oblivious anyways then, because everyone will be by the hook, and they'll know you just hooked someone, so they'll know where you are. So it's like, I get like, I get the point of the perk is to like tell you where an injured survivor is so you can get your next hook pretty quickly, and they won't see you coming. But it really, with the state it's at, it just doesn't really do that well. Especially compared to Friends Till the End which, you know, shows you their aura for a really long time and exposes them. Like, then they're going to be running from the hook, but they would still be running from the hook with Alien Instinct anyways. So, like, this perk just, it's so much worse than Friends Till the End, and so is Barbecue and Chili. They both definitely need buffs to at least slightly match up. And this is, this is a recent perk, too. Like, like, Xenomorph did not come out that long ago. Like, I don't understand why... Friends to the end just upstages it so much. So, like, I don't know. It's like these recent perk designs we've been getting have been so out of touch, I guess you could say. Like, nothing that that really fixes anything. I don't know if there's really much to fix in the current landscape of the game. I haven't paid too much attention to the perks that have been coming out recently. I know with Laura Croft, her, like, her perks aren't horrible. Like, uh... What is it? Scavenger or something, whatever it's called. I don't remember. It's really good. Hardened is worthless. And what's the other one called? Finesse is, I would, I would say it's pretty overhyped. I mean, it's not horrible though. It's a pretty good perk, but like, I don't know. And Vecna's perks were weird. I mean, strong, but weird. I don't know. The, the, the state of perks in Dead by Daylight, like what's coming out, it's like, maybe there's just too many perks in the game and the creators either forget about other perks when they add new ones that like creep on each other and stuff like that i i, I don't I have no clue but yeah that was that was a crazy schizo rant for a bit i haven't done a video like this before
but uh this is just something like i have been thinking about constantly that like i was like there, there needs to there needs to be something done about this right like i mean obviously it's not like oh there needs to be something done about this but you know like it's not like the most pressing issue in dead by daylight but it's just a sign of what's to come in the future i guess with balancing because if they keep doing this in the future we could end up with just so many perks that are basically worthless and i mean bubba is not a particularly strong killer either i mean a alien is pretty good so having a good perk like having a, a bad perk doesn't really do much to them but i mean why should there be bad perks in the game at all you know yeah and there's just a it's just a rant for like i don't even know how long has it been for like 10 minutes damn i've been talking about this for 10 like 11 minutes now wow okay anyways yeah uh I hope they change this in the future, or they buff the other two, or they just start buffing, like, old bad perks in general, because there's so many, like, Huntress's perks, Wraith's perks, they're just, they're just worthless at this point, in the current meta, they are basically worthless, so, yeah, I, 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 I hope they do something about that in the future, I guess that's my point, and that's my whole point of this ramble, but, uh, yeah, that's it, I'm gonna stop recording this now, because I've been, I've been doing this for a long time now.